cat video. And um, so I just want to kind of give a little history of what's all kind of going on with the Hellcat. Um, I'm almost had it for three years. I'm gonna do a whole video talking about like what it's been like owning it for three years in a future upload. Um, but what's going on right now that's pretty wild, um, and I think I've somewhat addressed it in past videos, but not made a specific video. Maybe this is helping somebody who in the future is planning on buying a Hellcat. Uh, existing Hellcat owners, if you haven't noticed this. So let me make a long story short what's all kind of going on. Um, the thing's burning oil like crazy. Um, so back in September, I've just actually just hit 20,000 uh, miles on the Hellcat during this drive. And uh, so what happened a couple months ago, right now this is almost uh, midway of December, uh, early September, or yeah, late, no, actually late September, um, I was planning this trip to go drive down with my younger brother to Orlando. We went to the Halloween Horror Nights. If you haven't checked out the video I did with that, it was it was epic. Um, we did the one in uh, Hollywood, and then we did the one in Orlando. So before the road trip, uh, usually my routine is you know kind of kind of keeping an eye on the oil level. You know the hard thing with all these newer vehicles. They got these gauge and it shows a percentage and anything I always would change it at like 20% and it was running like probably like around the 45 40 mark whatnot before this road trip so I just figured hey I'll check the oil oh, oil was super 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 low and I added I think about like four quarts of oil in it and the thing with this is it you know usually in the past I've been running mobile one and uh, that's what I've kind of ran for a long time. And the oil's not cheap. You know, it's not ex crazy expensive, but it's not cheap. So I had a four quarts. We take the road trip down to Orlando. Now the way back, stopped to get fuel. And I wanted to check what the oil level was when we took a stop, you know, just to see what's kind of going on with the trip. I thought, well, I added the four quarts. Four quarts of oil, uh, it was at the full mark before the road trip and I figure when I get back for the road trip I'll uh, do an oil change so it's like not too far in the trip heading back to Orlando coming back from Orlando and if I didn't make it clear you're new to the channel I live in Myrtle Beach South Carolina so it's not a crazy drive what eight eight nine hour drive something like that you know nothing too wild and um, so I did uh, check to this gas station to check the oil and the thing was low again. Luckily, I bought some extra uh, quarts of oil with me before the trip just in case. Because the hard thing, if you're like a truck stop or gas station, any of those, the great oil that the Hellcat takes is not a very common oil. You would have to go to a auto parts store or like a Walmart or you know somewhere like that. So if you're kind of on the road and you hit these tr uh, truck stops, you know, you really don't have a lot of options options for getting oil so I added in there and then I think I drove it a little bit before uh, getting the oil change not not that long and then when they did the oil change I brought it to uh, Jiffy Loop and this is a cool thing for just my viewers to know that are in this predicament with Hellcats that's what I'm kind of getting with besides what to do to kind of fix this so I go to this Jiffy Loop because I don't like I don't like leaving stuff and I always like this car you know, unless it's getting big service, which it really has never had. Um, but I like to have, check out this view though. Man, views on views. And uh, so I don't really like to leave it unattended. So that's why I like going to Jiffy Loops. So I go there, they're like, they were shocked how low the oil was. And I said, well, you know, I've added like eight quarts of oil in this thing in like a, a matter of a couple of weeks. So I get the oil change and you can kind of hear when I let off the gas, you could hear it uh, backfire what the mod I did with the exhaust. And just recently, that's why I want to make this video because this is crazy. So, when I, I think I said a comment to the people at Jiffy Lube, you know, this thing's been burning oil, and they said, well, we top it off for free. So when you look at how much a quarter oil is and you had to add four or five quarts, it, it, it's burning it, it's, you know, not just disappearing. And I thought, oh, that's a pretty good deal. So I checked. 
and the thing really wasn't backfiring when you'd be going between gears or you could just tell like something was up so I pull over gas station check the oil level it's low again this is when the check change oil thing was at 86 percent so I mean I really didn't do a lot of driving before this all this all happened which I'm like totally uh I was in shock because if somebody wasn't already had this experience and was driving you'd wait till you get to 20 maybe zero percent and you'd be long gone without oil engine goes and you know it's probably not even covered under warranty with a, an issue like that so I bring it by back there they were completely shocked you know they scanned it to verify when the last time was oil change miles they were shocked they said they've never seen that uh, so they added I think it's like four or five quarts of oil in there the same kind that it takes uh, me and Jippy Lupe use uh, uh, Penn's oil that's what they use factory in this when you buy them Penn's oil so it's the factory oil so they add a bunch of quarts of that but what I'm getting at is I didn't have to pay to add oil in the thing which was a total win-win for me you know even they said I took the remainder of what they had in stock of that great oil zero uh, W 40 so it's not a very common uh, weight of oil that would be found in certain places and luckily it was all taken care of but then when I kind of did some digging because I'm like I'm kind of familiar if there's been issues with Hellcats or you know you meet people with them the hard thing in South Carolina there's not a lot of people owning them is them when I lived in the Midwest um, and the weird thing, this is all kind of happened when the Hellcat got probably, I'd have to say, above like 16,000 miles. It was never an issue ever before that, which was kind of shocking. So it's almost like the longer term use of owning one, this is happening. And I'm real glad because um, I have a Jeep SRT and I got it like a, a eight months before the Trackhawk came out. And I wanted that Trackhawk so badly. And now seeing 6.2 liter supercharged engine how it burns oil I am so grateful that I never got the Trackhawk uh, it's having the, and then having the better off having the Jeep SRT now I've kind of done some searching and there's not really any type of way of fixing this issue so it's kind of a concerning matter of what to deal with uh, for future use of owning this you know what is what is the way to you know fix it uh, it's an awesome vehicle I mean, here we go. So that's that backfire I tell you about between gears. I had, I did manual. I put it in the automatic because it's hard to do that when holding uh, the GoPro. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at is, you know, just to my viewers, or you plan on buying one, I mean, really keep an eye on the oil. You can't just wait till it gets out literally almost every time driving it it'd be worth just keeping an eye on it uh because you could be in a situation where it's super low and there's nowhere to buy oil uh i've done let's see what's been two three now three road trips with this i took it down here from illinois took it to orlando and i'll take it back it's like two two big giant road trips is what the uh hellcat has had so you know nothing Nothing crazy. I'm not originally gonna originally gonna take it on another road trip to Orlando or to uh, Illinois, but I ended up buying the stand-up, so that's why I didn't take it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a concerning thing. A long-term ownership of this car is, you know, what do you have to really deal with? And uh, I just think people are planning on buying one. They're awesome cars. I'm not trying to discourage you not buying a Hellcat, but I mean, if you're buying it used, I would definitely get a, like a compression test. On it just to make sure everything is up to par before purchasing one and to the people who buy them new I mean just really keep an eye on them you know especially the tra track hawk owners and whatnot I mean you just don't want to have something happen to you and uh, you wish you uh, took care of it but enough rambling about it this is an awesome car I love driving it. I mean basically I've been using this as my uh, daily driver uh, before earlier on I didn't really drive it all the time Midwest you can't really drive uh, year round so I've been kind of having my daily driver now uh, 
sucks in the rain here. They use seashells with uh, paving the roads. So it's real slick. That I don't recall when I lived in the Midwest when it rains. It's real. It feels like you're almost on ice on it. But it's about the end of the video about talking about this. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do monthly giveaways. I have a November and December giveaway where I'm giving away a signed Michael Jordan photo and a size large Jet Tribe sharpened uh, two-piece wetsuit. How you get to enter that, it's three things. It's real easy. It's totally free to enter. Uh, first, you got to be subscribed to the channel. You got to like the videos and comment on the videos and uh, you get to enter to win to get that. And it's, I do monthly giveaways to stop combining it because it's right before the holidays. I'm picking somebody on December 31st. Also, too, if you haven't uh, checked out any of my I, I Am Beowulf merch, I got the tank top on right now. It's actually real lucky. It's been really warm today. We had a big warm spell. I didn't get a chance to go uh, jet ski riding uh, today because I just got this whole uh, sleeve done, and it's still peeling, and it's and I still have like a couple more days before I can go in the water. Uh, but make sure to check out IamBeowulf.com for all your uh, I am Beowulf merch. I also, too, have an Amazon store. You best check it out and see some of the stuff I got listed there. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Remember to be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. You see some trash, pick it up. It's no big deal. Help the planet out. It's the end of the video. Peace out, Beowulf Nation. <laughs>